Well, now see, it depends on like what what time period you're talking about, Scott Siren. Because I thought the Siren Brothers, I thought, I thought he was a total package. And when he originally became um, Papa Pump. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, he came with a little singlet and stuff, and he was his legs were more put together. His chest was better. Uh, I, really, I really just think it was a matter of health issues and knees, ankles, where else as he deteriorated. Yeah, he had some uh, nagging foot injury, right, Brian? Yeah, 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 yeah he did. Okay. And I know that killed his legs. Um, you know, because he's still like a bigger like in his back and his shoulders and arms. And it started to make it look, you know, more funny. But I, I think that like his prime in WCW – you know, he was he was fairly proportionate. I mean, his arms obviously still outweighed everything. Ridiculous. But. Ridiculous. And Ray, he did have big legs. I remember how huge his calves were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I'm... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm big legs. That's screwdriver. He had to have big legs to kill somebody. <laughs> Just freak Zilla, man. He's, he's the man. I mean, I, his, his awesome promos, yeah. Come on, everything, the body stuff. Everything, everything. He's... he's, he's and, you know, too, obviously his work rate went down, too, as well as his inconsistent, you know, physique. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, for a while there, too, especially the Steiner Brothers, man, that guy was just a beast. He could go. He was. Um, Who looked better matching up against Goldberg other than Scott Steiner? Now, yeah. he faced everybody, and not everybody may agree with me, but I think across the board of their feud together, and nobody matched up size for size. Scott Buddy Steiner's coming out, too, because he's a fucking maniac on top of being Jack. Like, yeah, I'm going to be worried about Scott Steiner. Yeah, Plus, man. Plus, Steiner gets a bonus point, too, because he put me over when I met him at a couple shows. Ah, so. that's cool. So, well, well, I'll, I'll, that's you know. good. He, that's good. He speaks He speaks what's on his mind. He doesn't oh, uh, talk about it. Dude, so. when I was listening to him, because everybody asked me, like, oh, why don't you with WWE or TNA or whatever? And, and as I got to listen to him, you know, cut a, cut a first-hand Steiner promo about TNA and Bischoff and Hogan and Triple H. and Oh, my goodness. It was so funny. So funny. I wish I had a record. <laughs> Scott Steiner promos were always exciting, on the edge. You never knew what was coming next. They were never carbon copy. Well, when he went to WWE, they shaved it down and holler if you hear me. It's just yeah, but come but, on, his debut though, even though it's not oh, on the mic, hell yeah, here, give me the fucking mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was Scott awesome. Scott Steiner's gold, no matter how you cut it, melt it, or shape it. it. You know, too, it's it's so bad, but so awesome, and so like. He says it's so intense, and like, oh, and course. just you know, just he still believes himself. Like, yeah, it's funny, but like, it's it's still like, oh shit, this guy's a badass. Even though awesome. he's saying wrong words, he's still awesome. And on top of those, have you seen his workout videos for the first DVD they made quite no. a few years back? I have the DVD. It's epic. Um, there's some good. Is it intense, Brian? Oh, dude, it's so much. It's it's so good. But I was so surprised. Holy shit, man! Because this is this is you know he's better off then than he is now, but it's so far past his prime. And dude, he is fucking putting up some weight. I was really, really surprised. Really surprised. Like, you know, a lot of guys, especially older, you know, they, they still look good and they work hard, but they don't move quite a bit as much weight. But dude, I mean, he takes off like 500 on the bench, and there's like this little twig of a girl, you know, that's supposed to be spotting him that's trying to look sexy, and she's fat and out of shape. But anyways, hammer the line. He's, he goes, "Don't touch it, unless I tell you." And he starts fucking pumping it out like no problem. I'm like, God damn, and it's it's real weight, man. It's legit. So starting gets the. Uh, the not too man. He he, he lifts some heavy ass weight for reals. So so now now I feel like a like kind of a dick for leaving Scott Steiner off. Uh, we've been talking about Scott Steiner for the last ten minutes. This guy's he was awesome. He was original and he was different. That's what made Scott Steiner Scott Steiner. So and again, listen. I mean, my opinion, man. If if we're talking about Scott Steiner, like you were saying, Brian, back in back in the late '80s, man, when he was doing uh, uh what is it, Frankenstein's or Hurricane Rana's or whatever the hell he was yeah, doing off the top rope, and and those ridiculous, sweet, legit drop kicks, man, dude. Let me tell you something. People talk about B. Brian Blair, Frank, um, Frank, Frank Steiner. That's my friend. Um, Scott Steiner could throw some nasty drop kicks, man. Really, really good. Really, uh, he was a freak of nature. What, what, what most impressed me is I think the man is a human suplex machine. I think just uh, as much as Taz gets the notoriety for that, Scott Steiner, belly to belly, German, yeah. anything, superplex off the top rope, uh, just the man could do it all, a suplex machine. Yeah, man. All right, so look. Dude. I could go on and on about Scott I, Steiner. I, I know. My buddy yeah, Mike. Yeah, if we start quoting promos, we could make the whole show about that, man. Jeez. But I could do not. A top five, top five, so five best Steiner promos. Maybe that's, that's oh. a different one. Oh, God. It's we 100. 